So Holland is the most overpowered attacker in FIFA 23 with everyone raving about him. However, last year and previous years, he was terrible. So what has changed? Simply put, it's his accelerate type or his right type. It's a new feature added in for next gen and in classic EA style, it is not very balanced at all. The right type is to give in-game players a new individualized feel. And so that way players who are bulkier like Holland, Kane, etc., can actually be usable and actually be very good like Holland is this year. Now there are three different types, explosive, controlled, and lengthy. And on on each of these types you need specific requirements so for example the explosive type you need more than 65 agility for you need agility minus strength to be greater or equal than 15 didn't think you'd be doing math today along with that your acceleration has to be pretty good you have to have a certain height and for example it gives you vinicius jr as a player i won't go over all the requirements just know that lengthy is essentially the exact opposite including strength you need more height etc along with having different requirements they obviously feel a lot different in game where explosive is going to be moving over a short period of time very quickly but over the long length of time is not going to be very quick lengthy is going to be the exact opposite it's pretty slow off the mark but then it's very good over long distances and then there's a control type or the balance type believe it or not this is a controlled speed where they just run at a consistent level well, i mentioned before it's not very balanced why would it be it's ea but that means there is one type that stands out and that is the lengthy type other players have their use though for example i like to have one explosive player in the attack that way i can shift very quickly and get the ball off or shot quickly if i need to someone who fits that bill is Di maria and obviously according to his goals and assists on 26 matches Matches, I would say he's pretty good at being that explosive player. However, like I just said, lengthy is probably the most overpowered one. You want this on your defenders specifically and on a couple of attackers. And I think you could probably guess what Holland is on. Oh, would you look at that? He has a lengthy rate type. Who would have expected that? Not me. Not no. No way. No way, Jose. No, no way. So how do you see their accelerate type? Well, unfortunately, it's not in the game, at least in a place that you can see it. So you got to go to Footbed. Every single player that you click on is going to have an accelerate type. Rashford is controlled, for example. You're going to have Holland, who is lengthy. There's a couple others have explosive like Dean Maria. The other thing you want to know is that chem styles actually have an effect on what accelerate type that you could potentially have. We mentioned that the accelerate type is based on stats like agility, strength, acceleration. So if you're changing your player's stats with a chem style, that means their accelerate type could also change. So let's use Holland for example. Let's say you put a hunter on him. He stays at lengthy. A catalyst, shadow, anchor, all of that, he stays at lengthy. However, if you increase his agility, let's say you put a finisher on him, he gets to be a controlled accelerate type then. Say same thing happens for if you put an engine on him. It's same thing. He goes to control. Someone like Renato Sanchez, who has the controlled accelerate type, could actually go in between all three types. Again, you just have to choose the right chem style. For example, if you did Shadow, you did Catalyst, you did Hunter, he stays at controlled. But if you were going to go something like Architect, he would go to lengthy. Or if you were to go somewhere like Artist, he would actually turn into an explosive accelerate type. And so again, it's all about choosing what you guys want to do and putting that in your team. Now, obviously, stats mean a lot more than the accelerate type, but that's going to have an effect on how they feel in game so i'm going to go in game to show you how different these three accelerate types are and what to expect when you are using a certain one we have Di maria who's explosive we have mckenny who is lengthy and we have karsdorp who is controlled now i'm using all these guys because they have around the similar pace with all of their respective chem styles so let's see what happens when we have karsdorp again that's a controlled body type so we're going to start from nothing and we're going to go straight down to the right and we're just going to see how quickly he gets up to speed now as you can see again he's controlled it's a very controlled manner he's kind of staying with his pace for relatively the entire time it took him a dribble or two to kind of get going because dribbling in this game freaking sucks but beyond that after a touch or two he was able to get going fairly quickly and again keep up with that decent amount of pace that he has so now we're going to go with McKenny. he has a lengthy type and we're going to go straight down so he changes his direction a little bit let's see how quickly he picks up his pace Again, it's a little bit slow off the mark, but then once he gets going, he is in full stride, and in my opinion, arguably a little bit faster than Karsdorp. Finally, we have Di Maria, who's an explosive type. Again, we're going to start facing the opposite way, and then go straight down to see how quickly he can pick up speed. So again, it's a little bit faster off the mark. I think he's probably, he's able to kind of get around someone or two, but you can see that top speed is not very good, especially compared to the other two guys that we were comparing him to. So I'm going to go from the corner of the box. I'm going to see how quickly I can get to the other corner of the box and we can use that to determine what their speeds are so i did it in a very scientific method and did a stopwatch on my phone very very accurate so Di maria had the quickest first half of the race which makes sense with his explosive accelerate type and then mckenny with the lengthy accelerate type had the quickest second half of the race i understand it's not the most scientific they don't have the exact same stats all right but someone has better dribbling someone has a little bit better sprint speed or acceleration i get it all right please don't hate me in the comments this is the general idea it's not a perfect test i understand it please 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 don't hate me so what does this mean for your team well for one i think defense 
defenders, especially center backs, would be really good with the lengthy accelerate type. That will allow them to catch up to any fast attacker, plus with their added strength that center backs typically do have, the hold off an attacker while they're building up their speed. That way they can just burst into their accelerate when they need to. In the midfield, it depends on what you need. For more defensive players, like a defensive mid like McKenny, I would prefer lengthy because again, similar reasons for a center back, you're going to be defending more with them. For an attack minded center mid or a box to box center mid, controlled or explosive could be the way to go. That way, if you need to, you can turn quickly, get a pass off, or that just means you're not hindered by the lengthy body type and that doesn't take them an extra second or two to kind of turn and get going. And then for the attack, it really just depends on what you like. I mentioned I like Di Maria having at least one explosive player in there so they can turn quickly and distribute passes or get up a quick shot if he needs to. But if you have Holland, who is the lengthy type and he has very high sprint speed, which is important, you still need those good stats to help provide for you, then the lengthy type would be good as well. Again, it really just depends on your play style and what you personally like to do. So that's going to do it for this video. If you do have any questions over what you'd want to see, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. But like I said, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.